Thank you, Ben. Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, a White House report says Georgia is among the worst states in the country for COVID hospitalization rates. More than 4,000 COVID patients are in hospitals right now. That's nearly a quarter of all COVID patients in Georgia. Nearly all new hospitalizations in the U.S. are being linked to those who are unvaccinated. Now, Central Georgia is seeing its fourth surge. One hospital official tells 13 WMAZ this is one of the most challenging surges they had to respond to. Ashlyn Webb joins us live in studio with more on that. Ashlyn. Yes, a surging number of cases, particularly from the Delta variant, dozens of hospitals reporting severe overcrowding in their ER, and in some cases forced to divert patients coming by ambulance to the ER. And now staffing shortages. That's the scene across the state right now, including at Atrium Health Navison in Macon. I sat down with Chief Medical, the Chief Medical Officer to talk about what her hospital is seeing. Chief Medical Officer Patrice Walker says this surge is more of a challenge than the previous three. She says there's two reasons why, beginning with the Delta variant. The number of cases that we're seeing or the, the pace that we're seeing is exponentially um, um, more than before. The other hurdle, staffing shortages, something the whole state is seeing. The CEO of the Georgia Nursing Association telling Georgia Health News on Wednesday that the nursing shortage in the state is worse than ever. Walker says the shortage isn't just in nursing. You know, we have respiratory therapists, we have clinical techs, we have, you know, lab and phlebotomy. Everyone that it takes to give health care is, is being affected. But why is Atrium seeing the shortage even more now? Walker says during previous surges, the state provided supplemental contract staff. But um, over time, as numbers um, went down, then so did that supplemental staff, appropriately so. Um, so now as numbers are going back up, we don't have that staff, at least not immediately available. She says staffing, the amount of people coming to the ER and the surge of cases have driven up the ER wait times. Atrium, like Piedmont Macon and other hospitals in the area are seeing severe overcrowding, leading to ER divergence, where patients transported by ambulance to the ER are directed to other hospitals. Walker says now Atrium is being forced to come up with innovative ways to keep the patient ratio safe. So it may be that we have, you know, a few beds in a certain area that that we close, you know, so that we can use the people that would normally work there in a more efficient manner. Just this week, the hospital announced they'll curtail elective surgeries. Walker says this allows them to move staff around to respond to the pandemic. We never want um, someone who needs a procedure to, to not be able to get it, you know, based off of a decision that we made. But the flip side of that is if you're going to need to come into the hospital and, and stay in the hospital, then we've got to have a bed to put you in. We have to have, you know, the staff to take care of you. We also reached out to Piedmont Macon about their staffing situation. Spokesperson Laura Stoddard says they're not short staffed, but they are definitely stretched thin. She added that many nurses are having to work longer hours because of it. Frank, Lori, back to you. Hi, right, thank you, Ashlyn. So far, this affects only elective surgeries at Atrium that will require hospitalization afterwards. It does not affect outpatient procedures.